Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, I want to share something with you that struck me when I was at the hospital today. A lot of times we think that things that have gone haywire in our lives are someone else's fault. Either the way they treated us or what they allowed or did not allow us to do as children. And we want to place the blame for some of our weaknesses on these people, whether it be mother, father, brother, sister, uncle, aunt, you know, neighbor, whatever. Well, I'm not talking about abuse. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about regular, everyday irritants in relationships. Okay. Now, listen to this. Many times, what you choose to do with what happened to you determines your outcome. You can choose to remain angry, to chew on the anger, to stew on the anger, to to just work on it and, and that's right, and regurgitate the anger and swallow it back down and just just stir that pot and keep that thing all hot and steamy. Well, if you're able to just pick it up and throw it away, it can actually be no longer a part of your life. But when we as individuals insist on nurturing that anger and nurturing the injustice and rehearsing and rehearsing and rehashing and regurgitating and swallowing it back down and experiencing the bitterness of it again and again and again. See, what we end up doing is spiting ourselves. It's like biting off your own nose to spite your own face. You end up turning something that could be trash into poison for yourself. And you it can eat away at your health. It can eat away at every positive thing in your life. You can't enjoy that for this. You can't you can't cherish what is happening now for what happened then. Because you're too busy nurturing this, this evil that you're not willing to let go of. And I'm not talking about a sin of an act. I'm talking about your not being willing at times, not all of us, just some of you, may not be willing to let some things go because you feel like you deserve the right to be angry. Look what they did. Look what they didn't do to you. See, that wasn't right. Let me tell you, it started here. I mean, you can go blow by blow, step by step, chapter by chapter, chapter and verse. And you have it all dissected and analyzed. And you have drawn such a an intricate picture of this thing that you're bitter of that you're bitter about. But what you don't realize is while you're so busy focusing on that wrong, everything that is right in your life cannot be enjoyed because you refuse to chuck it. You don't want to chuck it. And that's what happens with a lot of us. Excuse me, a bad hair day. That's what happens with a lot of us. You think that you are justified to feel angry. You're justified to be bitter. You're justified to have all this resentment harboring in your heart. When God himself says, if you don't forgive, I will not forgive you. So that is not a suggestion coming from God. And he does it for your sake. It is not for the sake of the person who is down the road for f totally having forgotten what they did to you. No, it's not for them. This is for you. You don't let any monkey stop your show. But many of you do. 
and you let the bitter memories of the past spoil your feast of charity for today. You can't even feast on the love that's in your life. You can't feast on the blessings that have been bestowed on you because you're too locked up, tied up, locked down, buried under the past. And the good things that are in your life to this day are being spoiled and defiled and, and rotten by all the emotions you have tied to, to the back door. Ah, I don't know if you get what I'm saying. I'm tired. I've been walking all day at the hospital. But I'm telling you, you've got to ask God to help you get rid of that. It's not going to do you any good. You sitting up there justifying your right to be angry is not doing you or anybody else any good. It's counterproductive. It's destructive. Let's ask God to get that out, shall we? Please do. Ask him to heal your heart and help you forgive. That's the, that's the solution right there. Then you can actually enjoy what he's doing in your life now. Mm-hmm.